left onto State Highway 220. So they had a little problem this morning with my order. It was actually supposed to be ready last week. And we talked to them last week on Friday. And they didn't have my order ready. Said it would be Monday, first thing in the morning. You be here first thing and it'll be ready. So we got here first thing this morning. Before they even opened, I got here and they gave me the ticket and all that and then I went out there and they started letting me know that, that it wouldn't be ready. It's not ready yet. So I said, what do you mean it's not ready yet? Like we ordered this, you know, early last week. Yeah, I said, it's just not ready. They had a machine, the banding machine that actually, I guess wraps everything up with the plastic or uh, saran wrap that they normally do which they always do a nice job packaging actually one of the reasons why I like getting my materials is usually the way that they package it is very organized and easy to read and understand and they always have done a good job getting our stuff to us and getting it ready but course when it's not ready that's when you realize how spoiled you are sometimes but so I left I said all right I'll come back whatever give him a couple hours because he said it would be one to two hours so I came back ample time like three to four hours and I got here still wasn't ready <laughs> I'm like okay it's Monday morning pretty much what you got to deal with on a Monday normal stuff normal stuff but the problem is this material's got to go over 100 miles away so we got to get it there because I already got guys on site we were expecting this material to be ready on Friday and it wasn't A lot of this material is already bandaged, or banded, not bandaged. So, makes it a little bit easier. Oh boy, got real close to me there. <laughs> got tired of waiting on me, maybe, I don't know. It's like, man, I've been waiting all day, so. Been here like 30 minutes. Anyhow, all is well. I've got material on the trailer now, so we can proceed getting it down the road beginning the week. Meanwhile, you guys know any good CDL drivers. <laughs> We're in the Ellis County area in Red Oak, Texas. We are looking for help, so always looking for help. Superintendents, project managers. We've got plenty to do. So in efforts of talking about some of the key advantages of using a barrier such as the zip sheathing um, for starters I'm going to basically just explain some of the reasons why we use it now other people probably have very good reasons of why they may use it or why they may not use it so I want to just put that out there it's not that this is the only way it's just what we have come to in our 
system and way of building, you know, as far as the best quality build uh, for our clients and most efficient. So, notoriously, metal buildings, when you're talking about building a metal building home or a barn dominium home or, you know, shouse or whatever people want to routinely call it in their neck of the woods in texas for the most part we build steel buildings and that's it's not really what you'd call pole barn or post frame in that sense uh, which is routinely common called in the northern regions but or in wherever all right, so I tried several times to keep recording on my GoPro and it just wasn't working. So anyways, I'm gonna give you top three reasons or just three reasons why we use uh, this underlayment or this substrate sheathing right here, this green material product that you're seeing here behind me. This is not a sponsored video, but we are using the zip product here. Uh, and the guys are sheeting right now, but you can see we're, we're covering this up now number one uh for one of the reasons that we use this product is it gives me a barrier uh you know to separate between the metal panel and the interior uh that's one of the reasons that we use it so primarily speaking uh you have a additional r factor there you also have conduction that happens with metal between uh, transfer of heat and we're taking advantage of this product by basically removing that option from happening so you're, you you all of that conduction or transfer of heat is staying on the other side of that green wall so that you're not getting the direct uh, heat coming into the house so that's one reason Second reason I would say, which might even be one of the main reasons that we do this is because of the flashing abilities that we have with the zip barrier. Uh, so if I'm doing just a metal building, I don't have the ability to seal quite like I can with this. I have the zip tape. You also see I have liquid flashing that we're hitting on every penetration. And you can see that we have the stretch tape that goes down here and around on the bottom of that window and so these are some of the things and the reasons why we use this product uh, as far as giving us better ceilings around our windows and doors flashings number three reason i would say is for the accessibility that it gives me later now there's a lot of reasons and things that we could talk about as to why this is a good product to use, but let's say that we, see for this product, we are gonna have some stone here, but let's say, cause you can see my ledge getting ready. We're gonna have stone here, but it's gonna stop right here at this corner. But let's say that over here, I needed to get into that panel or into the wall. I could simply remove the panel, cut into the wall, do my repair, zip it up with the zip, put the flashing tape as well as the liquid flashing, and we're back to square one, put the panel back on, no problem. So those are three reasons why we use the zip. Okay, so that was the house over there. This is the shop, and you can see, uh, you know, basically that if you are trying to accomplish putting you know a living quarters inside of this and i was just coming here and frame up studs and not have a barrier between that the only chance i have for flashing is that one spot on the outside whether you put you know another piece of red iron here for your framing and a lot of times it might only be that thick so that's your only chance for flashing which is in some ways a problem. Now this shop's gonna get spray foamed as well. So if you cut in your windows there, let's say this was your window and you had an opening, 
Well, a lot of times, if you don't have a screw ever so often, then spray foam gets in between there and can push that flashing open. So that's another reason and a concern as to why you wouldn't want that type of setup for a Barnuminium home. <laughs> 